Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Oscar, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Select the Incredible Hulk. Yes, another Marvel Select figure. This is another Hulk. Um, I reviewed the Unleashed Hulk, like, in this channel. But this is the different version. This is the Incredible Hulk. And I still have it in package, as you guys can see. Now, before we start the review, I want to actually tell you guys something. Uh, again, a backstory behind... Whoops. I got to keep my camera up. Anyway, a backstory behind this is that uh, when I was about 8 years old, uh, my mom took me to the Disney store, and uh, they actually had the, this Incredible Hulk back in the Disney store back in the day. And I remember I was grabbing it, and I'm like, Mom, I want this Hulk, even though it has a really scary face. And my mom was like, no, 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 it's made out of glass, it's not an action figure, it's only for collectors, which that's true, but she lied about the glass part. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll put it back. But uh, that's not the case at all. So um, this, yeah, Incredible Hulk. So again, I didn't show you the packaging, but this is the Marvel uh, Select standard packaging. As you guys can see, here's the Marvel Select signal right there. There's the Incredible Hulk down on this side right there. Special Collector's Edition action figure with some cool artwork right down the side. Figure right there, and there's the Gamma Radiation symbol right there. Uh, you guys can probably see my Mr. Incredible uh, stand because I probably don't have a camera stand, but the Mr. Incredible... Um, Mr. Incredible Head is the only stand I can use, so. And then on the back, there's also some back, uh, the packaging. Uh, some artwork. I'll show that when we get out of the package. Oh, crap. Knocked over my light. Um, so anyway, uh, when we spin the figure to the side, we can see another, uh, picture of Hulk. Probably can fit that in the whole entire frame. And on the back, we get the, the readup for the Hulk along with some other figures. Uh, the read-up says, Transformed by his exposure to immense levels of gamma radiation, Dr. Bruce Banner soon found his mind and body overcome by a dangerous new force known as the Incredible Hulk, emerging in periods of great stress or anger. The Hulk is capable of near limitless feats, strength, and endurance beyond the dreams of normal humans. With his brilliant mind trapped with the Hulk's monstrous form, Bruce Banner... Uh, must wage a constant war of control or risk lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. And obviously here's a picture of the figure. There's another picture of the Hulk. And the other figures in the line are the Red Hulk and the Ultimate Hulk, a.k.a. Grey Hulk. Which I think I might get the Red Hulk soon. I think so. And these are made by the folks over at DiamondSelectToys.com. Uh, I actually had this guy for a little uh, for a little while before I started this channel. For my very first video that I made on my channel, I had this guy, and I was like, I was just so excited just to get him open and uh, review him. But I'm like, no, wait, I'm just gonna wait again, and I'm just gonna do other stuff before I before I do the review on this guy. And now here we are. But uh, that, um, the Marvel Select Hulk um, is not the only one I have. Um, I'm just gonna turn the packaging around. The Marvel Select Hulk is not the only one I have. I have two more Marvel Select figures and two more on the way. But those are gonna be in surprise and those are gonna be coming soon. So, without further ado, let's just unbox this bad boy. Uh, can't even do it by opening it, but you know. But you know, this is the Hulk. Just gonna unbox this right now. Take a closer look. People don't usually unbox their Marvel Select figures in which and in, in their videos. Well, some do, but I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Jeez, I remember back in the day when I first opened the Unleashed Hulk. The packaging was super impossible. I had to start by ripping open the sign, but I found an easier way. If you guys want to open the package, uh, Marvel Select packaging without tearing this, um. Just tear it from the sides here, just like a normal action figure would. Jesus, it's kind of hard. Uh, there's this one YouTuber who reviews toys and unbox them, uh, unboxes them. I forgot his name, but he throws packagings. He's like, see you later, and all that. You guys probably know who I'm talking about, but I don't remember his name. Jesus Christ, he, he is like difficult to open, guys. Like, Jesus Christ. 
I'm going to save the packaging because I like it. I'm not going to throw it away. It's the pretty cool packaging and I'm going to save it. I do save my packages when I unbox figures, but... Um, got this side open. Now we're just going to... Now we can slide the figure. Oh, I forgot. It, it, it comes with a... A figure stand. I forgot to mention. Folks sometimes come with those. Okay, we got that out. And we need to get this thing that's out of... The, that's out of the... Thing right here. I don't probably know what this is. You probably guys know what this is. It's a, it's probably a collector's card, and it on the pictures it shows a bunch of characters. There's Miss Marvel looking pretty nice. All right. Oh, and there's a cool image of the Incredible Hulk back there. So I'm just gonna be saving that packaging. I'm not throwing it away. Okay. Now to the main part. Here he is the Incredible Hulk. But shoot, uh, but before we get him out, let's go ahead and check out what he comes with. So he comes with. Sorry about it, guys, I had to grab one, some of my pliable scissors to open this up. And this should be a display stand. Okay. So here's the display stand that the Hulk comes with, and it's actually pretty cool. I'll be taking a look at that. I'll be putting him off to the side, and we're gonna take a closer look at the main man himself. But first, let's get him out of his. Um, uh, I'm actually gonna do this off camera because I don't want this video to take like a super long time. Because obviously the elastic bands on the Marvel Select figures take a long time to get out. So give me a minute, guys. I'll be back. And here we have the Hulk out of the plastic um, container. Now, the elastic bands were a pretty tough fight for me to get off. So, but finally I have him out. So before we check out the figure, let's check out this. So this is supposed to be a licensed product card that you guys can collect. So here are the other figures that you guys can collect. They're promoting Storm, Red Hulk, Sabretooth, Thor, Black Panther, and some bottle openers like the Infinity Gauntlet, a Venom, and a Punisher, and some other retro figures. I did see the Black Panther at the Disney Store, Red Hulk, I might be picking up. And on the back, there's actually Mini Mates. Mini Mates, yeah. A whole bunch of them. That carnage looks pretty cool. Just a bunch of Mini Mates. But again, uh, too good. And uh, here's the display stand that it comes with. It's all rubbles and rocks. Just a, uh, just a piece of hollow plastic, but I'm just going to put this off to the side. We'll check that out later. So here we have the Incredible Hulk. Um, yeah, really massive figure. Just let me tell you that right off the bat. Uh, geez, uh, he, when I first got him out, he feels really greasy. Like right now, he's like super greasy. Holy crap. I don't know what. Oh, I don't even want to think about it, but he feels like grease. But, and he's super stiff. I just need to loosen him up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so, geez, this guy's really postable. Uh, before we take a look again at the Hulk, let me just... Uh, his feet are pretty stiff. Okay, let me just compare him to another Marvel Select figure, obviously, that I did on this channel. And if I can rotate... I can't rotate his other hand, but... Just, Jesus, okay. Let me just put the Incredible Hulk right there, and let me grab the one that I did a review on. So here is the Unleashed Hulk that I did a review. Um, yeah, uh, you can see the uh, differences. Uh, similar shades of green, this one being like more dark green, this one being like more uh, lighter, sun-kissed baby green, I should say. Um, he's a little just a tiny bit smaller than this hulk this hulk being a little bit bulky and this one just being good uh this was the first hulk to come out of the uh, of the marvel Sex series this was the second and people people did like this one this one and people dislike this one about because of the face which i'll get into later but you can see that they're pretty good looking figures and um i'm pretty nice uh they they do Again, have different uh, different shades of pants. This one having blue, this one having purple. But, um, uh, different head sculpts and all that. But, uh, yeah, 
Now, this was the Unleashed Hulk uh, Disney Story exclusive. Um, but getting to this Hulk hour was just pretty cool. Um, the head sculpt is a pr it's pretty nice. Let me see if I can... God dang it. Let me see if I can try to zoom in here. See if I can try to zoom in. Okay, so that is the head sculpt. Ugh, pretty creepy and gross. Does not... Kind of does not look like the Incredible Hulk at all. It just looks like someone else that reminds me of. As you can see, you can kind of see the brushings of the brush that they used to brush the paint of the green. They used two sh different shades of green. The Molt Green and the, some other paint. The hair looks pretty nice, but the, you can see the, the gray in his teeth. In the gums of his teeth, I just say, in the green eyes. There's a little splotch of black on his nose, but that's okay. Uh, just pretty creepy really gnarly and just sick really sick figure uh moving down to the rest of the body you can see that he has also different uh, again the different lighter shades of green in between and the dry brushing and the uh, blackness in between the crevices of the muscles uh again you can kind of see where the paintbrush was like scraping onto this figure painted on the green and there's his um his six pack and again there's some of that darker green again two shades of green that they used on this hulk and down at the bottom of the pants below, you can kind of see the purple. This section here is like this pinkish purplish, which is like is violet and then this pink around the top of the waist. And there's the stretched out pants that the kind of iconic Hulk does. Uh, pretty nice purple. Again, some of the black in the in between this, in the pants. And there's obviously the Hulk feet and the toenails aren't painted. The only Hulk that did have painted toenails look this one has painted toenails this one doesn't so you can see where uh, this is going but just yeah pretty nice detailing on the feet um, just pretty nice moving up uh, the arms look just pretty nice pretty gnarly there's a fist for you again no painted <clears throat> no painted fingernails but the Unleashed Hulk did have whoops did have um he did uh what was it called he did have uh painted all that and he uh holds out an open hand on this hand but it's still a pretty nice looking figure uh just super nice really bulky just very strong uh let me give you here's the back here's the back of the hulk and uh just pretty gnarly so uh, more the dry brushing and all that big 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 hulk chunk of plastic this guy kind of feels a little just a tiny bit a little bit heavy but not that heavy i should say oh god jesus he's super stiff you probably have to loosen him up when you get him out of the package uh let me just uh display him on his stand real quick um actually no but well, before we do that let's get into the articulation first so as far as it is this uh incredible hulk's articulation his head is again i think on a ball joint i think it can go up and down and they can ro uh, rotate side to side. And the arms can move outward like so. And this one doesn't. This one. Oh yeah. This can move outward like so. They, they, can, they can move up like so. They're on a ball joint. And the he has doesn't have no bicep swivel. But he does have elbow rotation. And he does have bend at the elbow. And he's supposed to. I know he's supposed to have. Because I've seen reviews on this guy. He's supposed to have. Uh, uh, rotation at the wrist, but mine is really super stiff, and I can't get it to rotate that much. Um, I think that's because of the, the. I think that's because of the paint, or it's pretty stiff. Maybe this is an old figure. This was an old figure back in the day. Uh, he does have waist articulation. It can rotate, and he does have a. Uh, he, his, his legs can go outward at an angle. They can go outward like this. You can do the splits. Uh, swivel at the knee. Bend at the knee. Oh, God, that scared me. It sounded like a crunch. It sounded like a broken. And he again, he has the down at his feet. So you can pose him. He's posable. He is posable. But the articulation is pretty good people don't again people don't like this figure because of the articulation and the head sculpt let's see if i can try to move the rib. oh this one does look this one does rotate pretty nicely let's see if i can try to rotate again there we go look at that 
But this one doesn't want to rotate for some reason. Let me see if I can try to get this one to rotate. Oh, okay, there we go. I got it to rotate. But you just, it's pretty just to force it to rotate. And uh, again, this Polk figure is pretty cool. Let me give you a good comparison. Now I'm going to stand him up on his stand. Here's the stand. I'm going to place it down. And he, I think he has peggles on the, yes, he has peggles. And there's two pegs on the bottom of his feet. So what you do is you just peg him on the stand if you just. If you do so. If I can get him onto the stand, that's the problem. The problem is you have to kind of aim. See where you're standing him at. Pretty, you just have to stand him up. See if I can try. Can't really, but uh, I guess, guess that's far enough. Pretty nice. Let's see if the Unleashed Hulk can actually stand on, on the other stand. He only has two. He only has one pickle, but he 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 kind of does, I guess. You can kind of pose him on top of that, but I don't think that's gonna work. But my overall opinions about this Incredible Hulk, I I do like it. But people, but the problem is that the head is just pretty creepy and just disturbing. Don't know what Diamond Select was thinking about sculpting this figure, but just really disturbing head something I don't like about this Hulk but uh, what else can you do so yeah that is the review on the Marvel Select Incredible Hulk by Diamond Select Toys if you guys did like this video please leave a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys will miss a new video every time it comes out share with your friends subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye